G'day guys, I just thought I'd make a small video of my KISS bubblegum cards from the 1970s. These are the first bubblegum cards I ever collected as a kid. Um, KISS pretty much got me into music and they all actually got me into uh, collecting trading cards. You know, I'm a big collector of uh, rugby league cards still today. And it was these cards that uh, actually started it all for me back in the late 70s. So what you see there is um, the KISS Series 1 trading card box that I was, uh, was able to get from eBay. And what I've done is I've made a folder and put all the cards together. The wax wrapper that you see there, that was uh, from the Series 1 cards. And that came out in 1978, still in mint condition. I only buy anything in mint condition. I, uh, I'm not really into buying anything that's creased or damaged or has doggy corners or anything like that. I always wait and search, and when I find something for the price that I can uh, that I can buy, then that's when I purchase it. So that's the very cool wax wrapper from 1978, and these are the 1978. KISS Series 1 collection. Now, I've always seen these cards put in order. There were 66 cards, and every, every time someone puts them in, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I can never understand why people don't put them in order of the puzzle on the back. The puzzle on the back is just fantastic. So that's what I've done. I've actually put them in order to make up the puzzle. And the way I've done it is, if you leave the first two sleeves empty on the edge there, that one and that one. What you can do is we'll take it out and there's eight sleeves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just put that aside. And I'll put it together for you, just so I can show you how cool it looks. So, see, I can hang this up on the wall. I can take them out like this without knowing that it's going to get damaged. So, there you see Ace starting to take form. Ace's boots. Ace's arm. Ace's face. Now you've got Gene and Peter on the other side. Kiss logo starting to take shape. And the bottom bit of the border and the top of the border. So that's the cool, very cool puzzle that is made on the back. So easy enough you can take them out and put them in sorry for the glare but i've actually got the cards in little sleeves and then i've actually put the sleeves in the ultra pro protectors just to give it that little extra bit of protection i only pull them out once a year just to have a look at them and put the cool puzzle together so that's the very first one so we'll put that to one side just take it apart again Now, this was released in Australia in 1978, but the cool thing is this next set was never released in Australia. This is the KISS Series 2 set, and this is probably my favourite set because, like I said, I could never get a hold of these in Australia back in the 70s. Um, the first set ranged from 1 to 66. This set goes from 67 to 132, I think. Um, so, yeah, you know, to get my hands on a mint condition of these, I was just really happy. I had to look for years and years to find a set. So, and this, the beauty about this set is on the back, you've got two awesome puzzle pictures. So I'll show you what this looks like. So that's what the cards look like. And once again, if we take out the eight sleeves. There's a little bit more colour on the back of these ones. And one more. OK. 
Okay, now if we put these together, so you've got one going one way, and you've got another one going another way. So I'll put these together and I'll give you a good look on what they look like. Very cool set, this one. This, like I said, this is my favourite set, as I could never get this as a kid. that together there and up there uh, a little bit slippery okay so if you can make out that if it comes back into focus so you see the four members there again sorry for the glare but it's just what the light's all about when you put them in these sleeves. I'd much prefer to protect them than actually put them all together on the floor and make them look really nice. So that's pretty much the same picture on the Series 1 set. It's just in reverse. So that's the pretty much the same one. And then on this one, you've got an awesome um, sort of like on-stage shot of Kiss playing. So let's move that down a bit. So really... Really fantastic set. So, as I said, this one here definitely, definitely my favourite. And again, you know, being in sleeves, you can hang these on the wall. They're not going to get damaged. And but I much prefer to put them in the drawer and put them away. That way, I know that they'll last forever. If I ever do decide to sell them or hand them down to my son in years to come, you'll get a much better price than them being damaged. Now, what a lot of people don't know, KISS also released another set of cards in conjunction with another three bands. And these bands were Queen, The Village People, and The Babies. Now, everyone would have heard that The Village People and Queen, you know, two of my favourite bands as well, but The Babies consisted of John Waite. Um, he later on, later on went to do some solo stuff. Uh, he uh, put together the ba band Bad English, and Jonathan Kane was in that band as well. He was uh, the keyboardist from Journey. So I don't have the wax wrapper for this one yet. I'm still looking for that for a good price. I've actually got an unopened wax pack of this one. So the chewing gum's still in there, made by Don Russ as well. So that's in mint condition as well. So I'm also looking to get an unopened wax pack of Series 1 Kiss and Series uh, 2 Kiss. But... I've got that one from the Rockstars. Now, this also has a fantastic puzzle uh, on the back. And once again, I've put them in order of how the puzzle goes together. So they don't go 1, 2, 3. It goes 7, 13, 28, and so on. So it makes the puzzle. So I'll just take these out. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. Now, Don Russ always were renowned for making 66 cards with the set, so I'll put these together. This one goes a different way, so once again, there are the Queen bio cards and the picture taking shape. Um, I think that was pretty much up here, like that. Then you've got... Um, Jean's face, so that's right, it goes to four, four up the top there, so as you can see, village people on the very top, and once again we start down the bottom with um, Queen, right there, we've got the babies starting to take, uh, actually, where am I going wrong here, oh that's right, yeah, got the baby starting to take shape here, Queen down the bottom there. You've got the baby's face there. And the kiss and the village people up the top there. So once again, very, very cool set. A lot of people, this was never released in Australia. So again, I managed to get a mint set of these. So you've got bio cards all down the side. The village people and kiss bio cards. The babies and queen, same on the other side, 
queen, the babies, kiss, village people, and then you got the cool, very cool on stage shots. You got the village people, no doubt, doubt singing YMCA, I'd say. You got kiss in another fantastic pose. How can you not love kiss? It's just pop culture at its finest. And you got the babies. It's Jonathan Kane there from uh, Journey, and John Waite, who was a solo artist, and then he put together the bad band Bad English in the late '80s when those hair bands were around. And then you've got the legendary Queen, another awesome band that I absolutely adore. Freddie Mercury, just fantastic. God, wouldn't it be great to have him back living again? So yeah, they're all my trading cards. I do have um, one, as you can see. I do have another set of eight sleeves here. Like I said, Kiss released four sets in the 70s. The 1978 Series 1, 1978 Series 2, the 1979 Don Russ Rockstars set, which was that one. And in 1980, they released what's known as the KISS Series 3 1980s Australian set only. Uh, all cards were replaced with Peter Chris. Uh, they put in Eric Carr cards and the puzzle on the back is completely different. So very, very rare to find in mint condition and been looking for one of those for two years now. So eventually, no doubt, I'm sure I'll find one. But for the moment, I've got three out of the four so i'll wrap it up the video has gone a little bit longer than i thought it was that it would sorry and uh i hope this could uh show you exactly how cool trading cards were back in the 70s and like i said kiss were the reason why i got into trading cards kiss got me into music you know dynasty dynasty was my very first album and from there on in i never looked back so all right, thanks for looking, guys, and uh, enjoy your day. Adios.